The KMC Conquest BAC 5051E is a multi-port BACnet router full of integrated features. This compact router is powerful enough for heavy network traffic when permanently installed and small enough to be carried as a technician service tool. Let's take a look at how you can use the router as a VAV airflow balancing tool for KMC BAC 8000 and BAC 9000 series VAV controllers. This airflow balancing procedure requires four things. First, a flow hood or other accurate method to measure airflow. Second, the engineering design specs for minimum and maximum airflow set points. Third, a device to access the router, such as a tablet, laptop, or smartphone. And fourth, a username and password with permission to the VAV balancing feature in the router. The flow set points for VAV need to be correctly configured. If not, you will have unpredictable or incorrect air balance settings. Let's get started. Type the router's IP address into a web browser and log in. You will find the balancing feature under the Advanced tab on the left-hand menu. Begin by entering the range of device instance values for the VEV units you are balancing. Click Discover. This will create a list of up to 50 devices. This will discover all the devices, not only VAVs, so look for the devices with flow coefficients indicated. These will be VAV controllers. Select a VAV unit from the list to balance. The background for this unit will change to yellow. At the bottom of the page, click on the Balance tab, and then select Start Balancing. The balance procedure erases all previous airflow correction factors. The readings displayed on the VAV balancing page are the actual uncorrected airflow readings as measured by the controller. The controller will direct the VAV to open the damper to the highest maximum airflow set point. It will take a moment for the actual airflow value to stabilize at its maximum. With the flow hood, measure and note the actual airflow. Enter this value into the measured max box. The controller then repeats these steps to determine the actual minimum airflow. The VAV will position a damper for the lowest minimum airflow set point. Once the actual airflow value stabilizes, again, measure and note the actual airflow with the flow hood. Enter the measured airflow in the measured min text box. Once this is complete, the controller calculates new airflow constants and returns the VAV controller to normal operation. After all of the controllers are balanced, the table information may be exported as an Excel spreadsheet. You can use the router to command specific points related to device commissioning here on the Command tab. Here, manual airflow set points, as well as manual overrides of VAV fan and reheat outputs can be made. To write a point, enter your desired value and select Command. When any of these points are in manual, the controller button changes to green. To clear the manual setting, select Relinquish, returning the values to the pre-programmed settings. One thing to note, if you are balancing a fan-powered VAV box, we suggest you click the Command tab found on the balancing page before you begin the VAV balancing process. Here, select the Command VAV Fan option. This will allow you to command the VAV box fan for balancing. For more information about the BAC 5050 e router, please check out our other videos in this series. And to learn more about any of the solutions from the building geniuses at KMC, visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.